Peaky Blinders, the truth about crime and gangs in the UK. Beneath the surface of our everyday lives lies a hidden world, one that operates parallel to the one we know. It's a realm where vast sums of money change hands, but operates largely in the shadows. We are talking about the notorious black market, an underground economy that thrives outside the realm of legitimate institutions. Instead of bankers, it's criminals who oversee this intricate networks. In the United Kingdom alone, there are believed to be over 5,000 organized crime groups at work today, and that's just a conservative estimate. It's no wonder that Britain holds a prominent position in the realm of organized crime, not only within Europe but also on a global scale. Prepare to uncover the captivating truth about crime and gangs in the UK. What types of crimes did these infamous figures commit, you may wonder. Their exploits knew no boundaries, encompassing a multitude of illicit activities that range from back alley gambling and clandestine dealings to the dark realm of racketeering. As we delve into their enigmatic past, we find ourselves transported to a bygone era. These gangs, cloaked in danger and intrigue, emerged during a tumultuous time in the early 20th century, where the echoes of war still resonated and societal turbulence danced in the air. But why does their very name invoke fear? It is a name whispered in hushed tones, a name synonymous with terror and power. The Peaky Blinders held an iron grip on their domains, ruling with an unyielding force that struck fear into the hearts of both commoners and authorities alike. Yet, behind their menacing facade, what horrors or mysteries did they conceal? Be ready to know, for the truth about Peaky Blinders and the mysteries they guarded await those bold enough to delve into the unknown and reveal the hidden dimensions of crime and gangs in the UK. Birmingham Birmingham, once known for its industrial heritage, is now facing a grave reality of organized crime. In the 19th century, Birmingham was a city known for its diverse trades and specialized metalworking skills. While gangs in Birmingham, like in other UK cities, were territorial and named after their respective areas, the Peaky Blinders gained notoriety. The Peaky Blinders gained a reputation and instilled fear through their involvement in various criminal activities and their willingness to resort to violence. The Peaky Blinders were known for their distinctive style, which included wearing flat caps with razor blades stitched into the brim. They were involved in activities like illegal gambling, protection rackets, robbery, and violence. The show portrays their rise to power and their clashes with other gangs, highlighting their charisma, cunning, and audacity in the face of law enforcement. Birmingham experienced significant population growth and redevelopment, leading to overcrowding and poverty. During the early 20th century, the Bramajam Hammers gang expanded their criminal activities beyond Birmingham, driven by the lucrative business of horse racing and the gambling associated with it. The gang sought a share of the large sums of money circulating in the racecourse betting scene. The Bramajam Hammers gang saw the potential for immense profits in the racecourse industry. With minimal regulations and a lack of strict rules for bookmakers, they exploited the gambling scene. The gang demanded a significant portion of bookmakers' profits and provided services, such as intimidating winning punters, in exchange for payment. Led by Bill Kimber, a former member of the Peaky Blinders, the Bramajam Hammers became a formidable and violent gang controlling multiple racecourses. Their reputations for violence and their ability to generate wealth through extortion and protection rackets made them feared and influential. Gang crime in Birmingham had changed over the years. In the past, gangs like the Bramajams focused on running money-making operations, mainly in racetracks. But today, gangs like the Johnson Crew and the Burger Bar Boys battle over respect and territory. Originally, these gangs formed in response to right-wing threats and radical tension. However, they transformed into criminal networks, profiting from drugs and other illegal activities. The rivalry between Johnson Crew and the Burger Bar Boys intensified with the rise of crack cocaine. This led to a split between former friends, turning them into sworn enemies. In the 1920s and 30s, the Bramajams, led by Billy Kimber, controlled racetracks and faced competition from the Sabini family. Violent clashes between the two gangs, such as the Epsom Derby ambush, occurred. The Bramajam's reign ended when they were arrested at the Georgian Dragon Pub, thanks to Sergeant Joseph Dawson. These examples show the evolving dynamics and motives of gangs with respect, territory, and criminal activities driving conflicts in Birmingham. The mentioned events span a wide range of time, including the early 20th century and the year 2003. Over 40 local criminal gangs are locked in a fierce turf war, resulting in a surge of street violence in the city. 
Birmingham's organized crime unit has had to double its manpower to combat the alarming rise in knife and gun crime, primarily driven by gangs of young men. These groups, involved in drug dealing, operate under names like the Frankly Killers, the 61 Gang, the 24-7-365, the 23 Drillas, the Burger Bar Boys, and the Johnson Crew. Law enforcement faces significant challenges in ensuring community safety. London We begin with the city often regarded as the spiritual home of British organized crime, the vibrant and bustling metropolis known as the Big Smoke, or London. In the UK, around 100 billion pounds of criminal money is laundered annually, with a significant portion passing through London. Gangs are involved in the 11 billion pound illegal drug trade and contribute to the extensive black market for human trafficking. London's criminal landscape is diverse, reflecting the city's demographic makeup. Foreign gangs, such as the Albanian Mafia, dominate the scene. They control the 5 billion pound cocaine industry. Other notable groups include Bengali machete gangs, Somali street hoods, Turkish Cypriot mobsters, Nigerian fraudsters, Russian hit squads, and newly arrived Chilean burglars. These various entities contribute to a wide range of illegal activities unfolding within the capital. Liverpool Merseyside has a rich history of criminal gang activity, ranging from street-level youth gangs to larger-scale operations. While media attention often focuses on street gangs, the most lucrative criminal enterprises operate at a higher level. Beyond London, the drug and illegal firearms trade in the UK is predominantly controlled by a cartel of Liverpudlian traffickers. Despite occasional street-level gang rivalries, Liverpool holds significant influence nationally and internationally through collaborative efforts. Criminal groups coexist and form alliances with gangs in other countries, particularly Ireland and Spain. Following major deals and imports of drugs and firearms, distribution falls into the hands of younger members. Noteworthy street gangs in Liverpool include the East Side Boys, the Whitney Gang, the Croxteth Crew, the Delhi Mob, Wavo 420, the Strand Gang, the Fernhill Gang, the Kirkstone Riot Squad, the Laneheads, the Scotty Road Crew, and the Lanaker Young Guns. Manchester Manchester, known by some as Gunchester or Gangchester, has a deep-rooted history of serious gang activity. When it comes to crime in the 21st century, the city primarily relies on its own homegrown talent. While foreign gangs play a role in serious and organized crime, the majority of drug dealing and gun trafficking in Manchester is carried out by a few local enterprises. Groups like the A-Team, the Cheatham Hill Gang, the Gooch Close Gang, the Pepper Hill Mob, and the Dodgington Gang fiercely compete for territory in an ongoing drug war. These groups are also known to organize and promote illegal raves, strategically fueling the demand for their products, primarily ketamine and MDMA. Glasgow As the largest urban area in Scotland, Glasgow has become synonymous with crime and gang activity in the country. The city gained notoriety in the 1920s and 30s for its notorious fighting and razor gangs. However, the criminal landscape in Glasgow has evolved into a more organized and serious enterprise. In Glasgow, crime often runs in the family. While there are traditional gangs, both local and foreign, the larger criminal operations are often rooted in family ties. Referred to as clans, the most feared and successful ones are the Lions Clan and the Daniels Clan. These two families are bitter rivals, primarily due to their involvement in the drug trade. The feud between them has escalated over the years, marked by robberies, assaults, and even murders. It's best to steer clear of any conflicts between the warring families, as the consequences can be severe. Belfast Secretarianism strongly influences gang crimes in Northern Ireland, particularly in Belfast. More than 75% of criminal activity in the city is related to drugs, while the rest includes fraud, sexual exploits, and other offenses. Local gangs dominate, with some presence of European groups. Parliamentary involvement intensifies religious and political divisions, leading to heightened violence and personal vendettas. Despite stereotypes, these individuals are anything but polite. It's wise to avoid crossing their path. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for our next video.